They spend the night huddled together, clinging under a branch. But any stragglers still out in the forest in the failing light are heading for trouble. Something is waiting for them. This is a slither sucker, and it lies in wait for forest flesh. The slither sucker is one of the more wonderful uh, envisionments for the future. But its ancestors were very lowly organisms. These organisms are all around in the present day. If you know wh where to look for them, that uh, you will see them particularly on moist days, moving very slowly, but moving across the forest floor. Uh, a common name for one of these, at least in North America, is dog's dinner, because they look like the dog just lost its dinner on the surface of the forest floor. It's also known as a slime mold, a primitive collection of single-celled creatures that move together as one, able to change shape and creep along the ground. So what we just witnessed that took in that poor unsuspecting flesh was a giant, much more organized descendant of one of these slime molds that is about as low in the present scale of evolution as we can go in terms of being a complex quote-unquote animal. But again, it's not an animal, it's not a plant, it's a very early form of life. This very early form of life has survived to become a very efficient predator. They tend to live in a forest, as we show it here in the future, uh, of giant lichens, lichen trees. Now, a lichen is an interrelationship between an alga and a fungus. Today, they do not grow very large at all. Here, we have allowed them to form large shrubs that make the understory of a forest. A lichen is a fairly open structure. There's a lot of holes in it, and it's in those holes that the slither sucker hides. And it comes out at the appropriate time of day when the flish are flying, and it drapes itself down, and along comes the poor unsuspecting flish. Flies into this structure, and like a spider web, it wraps around, and the slime mold secretes a digestive juice and starts to slowly dissolve down the flish. Poor flish is having a very rough day, for sure. Um, and on the way by, the lichen tree is getting goods out of this because non-digested parts or bits of the flesh that get away are going to fertilize the ground in the forest. One of the circumstances so far, the slither sucker is, is making a pretty good living. It's catching lots of flesh, but these circumstances are not necessarily going to hold through time, and the environment can change, and the number of flesh can drop off, or some other something else can change uh, within the lichen tree forest. So we might envision that it was time uh, for the slither sucker to move on. The slither sucker can move slowly, but not for any great distance. But like its ancestors, it's a shapeshifter. It can transform itself into something else to attract the attention of another forest creature. And then it sits on a branch and waits. If the slither sucker waits for long enough, it'll be noticed by a giant of the forest. A five meter high, eight ton squid. A mega squid. 